Hello world, it is to, uh, Tuesday, isn't it? No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, March 13th, 2024. And looking out the window at Defiance, it's um, trying to be a nice day, and I think it's going to be a nice day. It was uh, close to 50 this morning, and I think it's going to be in the low 70s even today with some mix of clouds and suns. <clears throat> the devotion for today is entitled The Long Courage, written by Mary Ludy. Mary bases the devotion upon, <clears throat> excuse me, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 through 10, New International Version, abridged. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, my, for my power is made perfect in weakness. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness. I delight in weaknesses, for when I am weak, I am strong. And then Mary writes. Often the work of justice seems like repeatedly pushing the same boulder up the same hill. An air of futility haunts everything we do. As the late Paul Farmer said of his work in Haiti, we're fighting a long defeat. The moral arc of the universe bent towards justice, but every gain is fragile and reversible. The vast, tenacious mystery of evil won't yield to us politely <clears throat> just because we're right and good. There are limits to our power and virtue. To admit this isn't negativity or defeatism. It's the foundation for a ministry that's truly God's. For unless we embrace weakness and futility, we'll start believing that the world's betterment hinges solely on us, that we are its saviors and heroes, unless we accept inability. Even our most principled efforts will become just one more arrogant attempt to force a vision on the world. Unless we relinquish the solace of outcomes when we don't see grand results, the work will turn bitter and leave us soul fatigued and bitter too. But when we humbly embrace the long defeat, we will receive what John Shea calls the long courage to fight another day and another and another anyway. For when you really know that, you, you, when you really know that you can't win, you really start believing that love can. And the prayer. Give me, broken Lord, the courage for, comp for compromised truths, small justices, partial pieces. Keep my soul in my teeth. Hold me in hope and teach me to fight the way farmers with hoes defeat armies and rolled up manuscripts survive wars. Amen. And that's an excerpt. That prayer was actually an excerpt from John Shea's Prayer for the Long Haul from the book, The Hour of the Unexpected. Well, for me, this devotion was a good reminder that no matter what my efforts, um, things don't change as much or as quickly as I would like them to. It's just constant. And I guess I, I really realize that when I preach every Sunday and read some of the things um, that Jesus was preaching against, the prophets were talking against, um, you know, 2,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, and um, the same sorts of issues, not the exact same issues because it's a different time, different culture, <clears throat> but similar issues are still existent today. And maybe that's part of being human, which is why it's a constant, continuous effort, which is why, I mean, I guess it really reflects back to my belief that um, religious faith, whatever faith tradition you follow, is really about this life. And uh, I suspect that those who want to control humanity try to make it all about the next life and not about this life because they're afraid of what might happen if people actually start living their beliefs today rather than just simply longing for the next life. Maybe that's too deep. I don't know. But that's my thoughts for the day. That's my impressions from this devotion. And yours may be different. I really do think God wants us to keep trying, to keep going, to not give up, and to know that it may never be over in our lifetimes, but we still need to continue the long defeat, as John uh, Shea called it, and the long courage to continue to fight. Hope you have a good day. Hope you can enjoy some of the sunshine. And I see it's kind of impinging on my camera. <laughs> 
and um, hope to talk to you soon.